Hi, thanks for joining me. Jim Melcher for Desert Owl Media. I've long wanted to do things I wish they had told me about developing black and white. Okay, well, obviously, the developer, it's a chemical reaction. You, you need to have your developer uh, have a chemi chemical encounter with the emulsion or you're not going to get an image. But don't forget, your developer also, I, I, I do think your developer is going to take the last bits of anti-halation layer out if they're not there. Um, but tell you what, they'll just keep coming off all the way through all these processes. But I, most of it came off in the pre-wash. But I've seen it still there when I get through the fix a little bit. Um, so there's still physical things going on. Your temperature is an issue again. And, you know, if you agitate too much, I think it could have a bad physical, you know, the sloshing can have a bad physical effect. If you agitate too strenuously, I should say, too vigorously, that's what I meant. So, timing is, is crucial. To get your time right, it helps to have a longer developing time. So a more dilute, if you have a choice, right? Most of these developers, you have a choice in your dilution. The more dilute, the longer the time, and the longer the time, I'm going to put it crudely, the sloppier you can be. The goal is to be consistent. The goal is not to, to maximize our ability to be sloppy. But if you make that time too short, you start to make it impossible to be consistent. So, for example, I've seen in some of the, some of like on Digital Truth, I've seen, you know, time, developing times of like three minutes or four minutes or five something. I try to avoid any developer dilution and film combination where my developing time is less than six minutes. The reason is I don't feel like it leaves me enough latitude for, for my process. I mean, I, I like to be pouring in a certain way and dumping out a certain way. It always takes the same amount of time. Always. No matter if it's 20 minutes for the, for the developing, an hour for the developing. I mean, the, and the proportion of the time that's, that's affected, developing time that's affected by that fixed action becomes a big deal the smaller, shorter that developing time. The only exception I have to this is AccuFine. AccuFine's a little different. It's, so it's a two-part developer. If you're going to use AccuFine, look it up and learn it. Um, but it's a whole different, it's a whole different animal. Um, so this doesn't necessarily apply to that with a, almost every other developer, right? You have, you have the choice. So pick a longer time. All right. Uh, now how about one shot? I mean, if you don't, if you never heard it, one shot means you're going to dilute your developer and then you dump it. So usually a diluted developer is just almost worthless after it's done one roll of film. If you've got two rolls in there, well, you put enough developer in to cover the two rolls, so you wasted the other half with the second roll. So you, still you dump it. Almost all the work I do, other than AccuFine, um, it's, it's one shot. AccuFine you just put back in the tanks. It seems to last forever, but your mileage may vary as it is with everything here. I'm trying to give you a little boost, but not trying to give you some of these finer points. I mean, like that, that question, I don't, I don't, I don't know 100% know that. So one shot, right? Don't reuse your developer unless you're using a specific process where it's meant to be reused. I think D76 undiluted originally was reused and you put in a replenisher at a certain point. I've never done that. I encourage you to figure it out. But once you start diluting them, it's one shot. All right, on to the stop. So these days, I only use like a purchased stop, the, the stop from Ilford or Kodak. I only use that on paper. With film, right here in this house, water seems to work just fine as a stop. When I do large format next year, I may, I may change my process in that regard for the large format. At that point, I might be looking for a different, um, a homemade stop. So what is stop doing? 
if it's not chemical. My opinion, I mean, if it's, if it's, if it's, if you put the acid in there, a little acid and you make your homemade, um, you're, you're actually using some chemical to help stop the developing process. But my opinion is that when you dumped the developer, there's still that sheen of developer that's just sitting there on your film. And by doing the dumping, you kind of just agitate it. So you can consider that a fresh developer on the film and you just want it to stop developing and the stop dilutes it when it's just water it basically dilutes it and you agitate i mean like i agitate for 15 seconds and i just put it down get my fix ready and dump it um i'm i'm hoping that it's 30 seconds i actually have the timer and i'm setting the timer but it's more like just to keep the discipline every time i put a fluid in i'm using the timer um, but with the stop, I honestly don't think that after 10 seconds, it's doing much anymore. I think it gets in there, it dilutes your, your already, you know, that tiny little film of, de of developer that was there and some, I suppose that's somewhat absorbed into the gelatin. It, it, it's now, it's now going to exhaust itself so quickly because it's so diluted, extra, extra, extra diluted. The job is done really fast. That's just my opinion and I'm not going to test it because my process is working. But the reason I can, I can say this with confidence is I've tested it a little bit. I've, I've not something, I, mean, I started using a minute with the stop. I used a minute every time I put stop in. I hope you didn't do that. I mean, I hope you're not doing that now. I don't think it's necessary. Some people don't use stop, but I'm not going to go that far. And the other thing is you can't overstop. So timer goes, you're having trouble, you can't get to it. You, you, you had to go out to the garage to get a new tank, a fixer or something. And um, there it sat in the fix for an extra two minutes. I don't think it matters. I think you're fine. Um, all right. Again, if I miss some of these notes, I'll, I'll get back. I'll, I'll have a follow-up. Now, before we go on, a quick break. <laughs> we'll do the fix. <laughs> <laughs> 